this is Kelly with Holistically Rooted and today I am going to show you how to make the easiest soap ever. It's so simple. This is actually from a melt and pour with a few added ingredients. This is what I'm going to use as our base. It is a shea butter soap base. Um, and so this is not one that you use lye or that there's a process involved. While that is on my list to do with our goat milk and learning that process, this is what I have for right now. So I will be chopping up this, putting it in my pot to melt, adding a little bit of the cold, um, cold pressed unrefined coconut oil. And then once I get that melted, I'm gonna pour it into these soap um, molds and then I will add essential oils to each one of them. So some of my favorites, Melrose, I have four stinky boys, so Melrose is such a clean aroma. It's teach several tea trees and rosemary. Um, that is perfect for cleaning them. It's excellent for skin. It's excellent for health, healthy hair. Um, one of my favorites though is Sacred Mountain. That's or Valor for my bar soap. Um, another great one is purification. So what I'm going to do right now is chop up this, this soap, melt it on the stove. While that's melting, I'm actually going to do this little trick. You want to wipe out your soap molds, kind of put alcohol in them, and that helps where the soap, once it dries, doesn't stick as, as much. But these silicone soap molds are excellent. The soap pops right out. You could also use a rectangular bar. I have one of those and slice it as well. All right, let's get going. overnight in the molds and I'm just about to pop it out. So it was that simple. Literally we melted the soap base. I added some unrefined coconut oil and then to each one I added different essential oils. So why do we do this? Well it's pretty economical actually to make your own but the main reason we do this is I really do not want toxins and chemicals in my family's body or used on my family's body. There's so many different chemicals that affect our hormones that just overwhelm our body's toxic load from sodium lauryl sulfate to parabens to a whole list of crazy ingredients that you cannot pronounce that really affect our bodies in a negative way and cause our toxic load just to be overwhelmed. Our bodies are de designed to naturally detoxify, but our bodies aren't designed to live in this toxic world where we put all these chemicals from makeup to body care. And so the ways that we can do better and we can use clean ingredients, I strive to do that. So making our own soaps, using fragrance free and using only plant oils to um, bring scents that actually are supportive to our body is, is some of the good choices that I choose for my family. 
So look how simple this popped out and it's these perfect little soaps. So my boys use these all the time. This is their favorite soap. My husband's like, we're on our last bar. You need to make some more. And I love that we can make it this quickly and not have to run to the store and grab bars. This actually made 10 bars that, that, that um, chunk that I made. So I have 10 bars of soap. Some of my favorite oils to use. So the boys I have Melrose. I believe I did some with lavender and tea tree. Lang Lang and lavender is such a favorite of mine as well as Sacred Mountain, that blend of essential oils. There's so many great ones to use. Um, if you have a favorite, feel free to list your favorite scent and aroma that you use from essential oils um, in your homemade soaps or lotions. Um, but I hope you guys feel empowered that this is so simple and something that just all of you can do. And it's a really fun craft with your kids or, um, or even friends. I've had soap making parties with friends as well. So enjoy this and let it be another step toward clean living for your family. Thank you.